Hello, welcome to the Red Room. Uh, I am here and I've found myself a Hertz, a Theo, an Adam, and, well, a rather intimidating, scary gorilla with a large banana in his hand. Gentlemen, good day to you. Hello. Yeah. Tell us about the new single. Stay. Comes out in two, on November the 15th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a song we're really proud of. And it's um, we shot the video in Iceland, almost died, which was interesting. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a big, a big moment for us, this song, because it was one of the last songs we wrote for the album, and it's... Um, yeah, like I said, it's one we're, we're very proud of. You're getting described by the media, the press, uh, a lot of different ways, all very positive, I've got to say, but uh, you, you, the most popular kind of coined phrase is uh, modern synth pop. Uh, would you agree with this? What I've always tried to do is make pop music, and there's only two of us, so if it wasn't electronic, it'd be one acoustic guitar, or we'd be the White Stripes. So we had to make it electronic, really. We had no choice. <laughs> we, don't really dress, we don't really dress very cool, we dress like supply teachers. Is that where you got the inspiration, was it? Supply teachers, librarians, and <laughs> solicitors. For me, it's just the least amount of effort possible. All it takes is a comb, which I've got in my pocket, and I'll show you that comb. Go on. <laughs> You actually carry a comb. Well, wow. it's got my name on it. A fan gave me it. Do you carry a hanky? I think, do you know what? I do like the idea of a hanky, okay, but this is a controversial thing. They're dirty. Not, a, not if you don't Tissue, throw your nose in throw it. Away. Uh, yes, hanky, but look, it just culminates. I think it lacks practicality, to be honest. It does, but I don't really blow my nose in it that often. It's, it's more just in women. case, and, well, for the ladies, should, a, should a woman need to blow her nose in or my hanky? you need to dust off a gun. <laughs> that's what they're used for. It's rare that dust I've had to dust off a weapon. Yeah. You boys are going to be accompanying the scissors mm. very soon. Are you excited about this? It's a great, be great little run up to Christmas. A nice little, nice little treat. Nice, nice little trot up to the old silly season, playing a live tour with the Scissor Sisters. I'd say other people have much more humble ideas of a nice little <laughs> run up to Christmas. You're also doing your own tour. Come what February are we looking at? Yeah, it kind of, it, it's kind of trickles along in January. We got Japan and. Eastern Europe and things, and then UK, February, yeah, back again. We've only just come off one, yeah, and now it's time for the next one. Uh, some people say you've got a touch of the Depeche mode about you. I think you, you sound a little bit more like the Carpenters <coughs> meets the Prodigy. I think that's the kind oh, of great. niche that's that you've, you've, you've tapped into. That's a very interesting But thing. do you think you're, you're more patch up or? Depeche, the Depeche mode are a massive influence. They're kind of one of the, one of the sole ones, really, and, and uh, so it's a great compliment, and they're very underrated in Britain. Yeah. Depeche Mode, I think. When we go to Germany and stuff like that, they're gods. You're saying that Depeche Mode and all these are big in Germany, but maybe that's why you guys are doing so well in Central Europe, which you are. Yeah, I, I think they've got a they've got a taste for darker, darker pop music, which is is a real kind of a real nice thing, and it's really unexpected. I mean, you write the songs on the Curry Mile in Manchester <laughs> in a room, and the, and and then all of a sudden, someone in Russia or someone in Bulgaria or or kind of Ukraine. Uh, connects with it and it's a real a real kind of amazing thing that's the power of pop music I guess thanks a million lads thanks. <laughs> honestly brilliant